Major funding for NJN News is provided by... And coming up in our Science and Technology Report, Rutgers students take the plunge in a 1,500-mile undersea mission. If you have a comment, call 1-800-JERSEY-1 or our email address, njnnews at njn.org. Some Rutgers undergraduates are learning oceanography by taking the helm of an ambitious experiment, guiding an undersea robot from New Jersey to Nova Scotia. The academic course they're taking is just one of many designed to immerse students in research projects as early as their freshman year. Science and Technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Earlier this week, students wheeled a remotely operated vehicle, or ROV, called a glider because of the way it flies underwater without propulsion from the Coastal Ocean Observation Laboratory to a small pond. They were practicing a demonstration run for a campus field day this weekend, during which they hope to rope more students into trying their hands at oceanography. We were running a mission called Overtime, and what it does is the glider dives down to the bottom, and it stays there for a certain amount of time, and when it realizes that it's over its time that it's supposed to be down there, it aborts the mission and then comes back up to the surface. This was a short break from a longer, ongoing mission in the Atlantic. Professor Scott Glenn has put the students in charge of many aspects of a 1,500-mile glider cruise, which has returned data on ocean temperature, salinity, and other characteristics all along the way. So we started here off New Jersey. In our usual area tuckered in where we usually deploy. We started going across the shelf. We went up towards the Hudson Shelf Valley, through the slope water into the Gulf Stream where we went around these meanders, up into a ring where we spun around it a couple of times, and then ring to ring to ring until we jumped onto the shelf again and then sampling along this line into Halifax Harbor where the Canadians will be picking us up there. Two of this crew's youngest members are fresh graduates of Ocean County's Marine Sciences High School. I was in a uh, group called the ROV Club at my school, the Marine Academy of Technology and Environmental Science, and we participated in an international competition held in Houston, Texas at the NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Lab, and we took first place overall. Yet even these old hands are excited by the research opportunity. Being able just to come to Rutgers and work with gliders my freshman year is its insane. I never thought it would ever happen. Other departments in a wide range of fields offer similar hands-on experiences. We have hundreds of undergraduates every semester involved in uh, uh, research uh, and field work. Uh, in our laboratories and in our field stations across the state, uh, working with faculty. Patrick Regan, NJN News, New Brunswick.